I am pleased to yield to my good friend, Mr. Maloney. The gentleman from New York is recognized. I voted against the defense bill. I never thought I would. My dad was a veteran and was nearly killed serving his country. He taught me to respect those who serve and to speak plainly about right and wrong. So let me speak plainly now. This bill writes anti-gay bias into federal law. It strips LGBT Americans of basic workplace protections by reversing the president's anti-discrimination orders, saying it is once again legal for your LGBT neighbors and family members to be fired because of who they are. This is wrong. This is not. This is not about supporting our troops. It's not about fighting ISIS. It's not about religious protections. We can do all that, and we should. This is about bigotry, plain and simple. But we can fix it by embracing the bipartisan effort denied by the Rules Committee to remove this hateful language and keep everything else. Mr. Speaker, this is not some procedural vote to be waved away. This is about whether we will reaffirm equal rights or rationalize discrimination. When my husband and I got married after waiting 22 years, so many of you expressed your support. Will you now look me in the eye and say it would be okay for me to lose my job over it? Just today, a member of this House refusing to help strike this anti-gay language said to me, but you know where I am on your issues. I said no. This is where you are on my issues. Your vote is where you are on my issues. And this is where your children and where history will remember you are standing on our issues. You have the opportunity here and now to strike this anti-gay language and in doing so strike a blow for it. Mr. Speaker, we are, told, time has expired. we are told that we are to make America great. Well, you cannot America, make America great by making America no longer recognized.